Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. And now let us continue our study about curved mirror. As you have already know, there are two types of curved mirror. In this illustration, a spoon is representing the concave, which is the inner side, and convex, the outer side or the back part of the spoon. And as you can see, the image formed in concave mirror, the inner side, this one is inverted. While the convex or the back side of the mirror, it shows that the image is erect or upright. Let's watch this video. You may try this also at home. And now for us, to illustrate the image form in curved mirror, let us remember the following rays. There are three rays, ray 1, ray 2, and ray 3. The differences is this. Ray 1 is light ray parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus after the reflection. Ray 2 is light ray passing through focus is reflected as ray parallel to the principal axis. And ray 3 is the light ray passing through the center of curvature retraces its path after reflection. In this video, we're going to utilize or use only two rays. And these are ray 1 and ray 2. Our topic for today is all about Ray tracing technique in curved mirror. Let us remember and let us not forget the following parts of the mirror. In concave mirror and in convex mirror. Letter C stands for the center of curvature, the point in the center of the sphere from which the mirror was sliced. Letter F stands for Focus or focal point, a point midway between the vertex and the center of curvature. Letter V stands for the vertex, the point on the mirror surface where the principal axis meets the mirror. And this line is what we called the principal axis, a line passing through the center of the sphere and attaching to the mirror in the exact center of the mirror. Now, what would be the characteristics of the image formed if an object is placed in an infinity? When you say an infinity, it is located very far from the mirror. As you can see, this is the object. It is not placed in here. So it means to say that the object is very far from the mirror. This mirror is a concave mirror. Let us remember the following characteristics in terms of location, orientation, size, and type of image. In this situation, we're going to use only one type of ray, and this is the ray 1. So let's start. The first thing to do, since the object is beyond, you need to strike the ray into the mirror and reflect it to the focus. Same with the other one. Now, the intersection, the intersection between the two rays will be the location of the image. Alright, so that is the image. Now, let us describe the characteristics of the image form. In terms of the location, where can you find the image? It is found in here. At F of the mirror. How about the orientation? It is inverted. How about the size? It is highly reduced. And what type of image is it? Real image. Remember that real image is formed in front of the mirror. Next, what if when the object 
is beyond the center of curvature. So here is our object. We're going to use ray 1 and ray 2 in here. So para hindi magulong tingnan, we're just going to use ray 1 and ray 2. Let's start. From the object, let's strike the mirror and reflect it to the focus. Next, from the object, strike it to the mirror and reflect it to the principal axis. So where can you find the intersection between the two rays? So it is found in here. So how are we going to illustrate the image form? Alright. So now, let us describe the image form. In terms of the location, where is it? Alright. It is found between C and F. How about the orientation? It is inverted. The size? Reduced. And the type of image? Of course, it is a real image. Next, what if when the object is at the center of curvature? This one. So let's try to use ray 1 and ray 2 only. From the object, strike it to the mirror and reflect it to the focus. Ray 2, strike it to the focus and reflect it to the principal axis. Where is the intersection between the two rays? It is found in here. So how are we going to illustrate the image? Alright, so let us describe. The location at C. Orientation inverted. The size same size as the object. And the type of image is real image. Now, what is the characteristic of an image when object is between C and F? We're going to use ray 1, strike it to the mirror, and reflect it to the focus. Ray 2, strike to the focus, and reflect it to the principal axis. So, here is the intersection between the two rays. So, how are you going to illustrate the image form? Alright, let's describe. Location, it is beyond C. O, or the orientation, it is inverted. The size, it is enlarged and the type of image it is real image so as you can see when the object is coming closer to the mirror it is getting larger isn't it all right for our next situation what will be the image characteristics when an object is at focus? Alright? In this instance, we're going to use ray 1 and ray 3. So ray 1, striking from the object to the mirror and reflecting it to the focus. And the ray 3, from the object to the center of curvature and bounce it back to the mirror. Okay. Is there an intersection between the two rays? None. So when there is no intersection, the characteristics of the image are where's the location? At infinite distance. So it means to say you cannot see the image because it is at infinite distance means it is very far the orientation is inverted the size is highly enlarged 
So we cannot illustrate it because it is very large. And the type of image is real image. So it is found in here, very far and very big. Alright? Now, for our last situation in concave mirror. What if when the object is between the vertex or the mirror and F? So we're going to use here two rays. The first one is the ray 1. So from the object, strike the mirror and reflect it to the focus. And the ray 3, from the object, strike it to the mirror and reflect it back to the center of curvature. As you can see, there is no intersection between the two at the front of the mirror. But when we extend it at the back side of the mirror, there will be an intersection. So how are we going to illustrate the image form? So it is here. As you can see, when the object is placed between F and the mirror or very near the mirror, the object form is at the back. So let us describe what is the location behind the mirror. The orientation, it is now upright. The size, it is enlarged. And the type of image, since it is found behind the mirror, it will be virtual. Did you get it? So what did you learn about this situation? As the object came closer to the mirror, it becomes enlarged. And there is a situation when, when, when the object is placed between F and the mirror, the object will become virtual. It means that the image is found behind the mirror and it is not inverted anymore. It is upright.